Hi, this is Gary from organicweb.com.au. We deliver MailChimp training and provide other MailChimp expert services. Today I'll quickly go through the new Facebook ads campaigns by MailChimp. This makes it incredibly easy to advertise on Facebook and even more interestingly, target our email subscribers on their Facebook accounts with our adverts. The first thing to, to know, however, is that our lists have changed very slightly. So I'm just going to quickly go into my MailChimp list. And you'll notice that we used to have a drop down where it says create a segment. And we now have a field called email marketing. So in our email marketing field, that now shows which subscribers or what are now called contacts are subscribed, unsubscribed, cleaned, or are transactional. So right now we see everything in one list. This has been done by MailChimp because when we get onto our Facebook campaign, we'll be able to see that we can target our ads at all our subscribers or contacts. And that means everyone in the list, whether they're subscribed, unsubscribed, cleaned, or transactional. What I mean by transactional is that this person has been added from an e-commerce store such as Shopify or WooCommerce or BigCommerce, but they haven't specifically subscribed to our emails, so they are transactional. But we can still advertise to these people, even though we can't send emails to them. So let's just quickly dive in, click campaigns and create a Facebook ad campaign. And very familiar screen, we click create campaign. We call it whatever we want to. Let's just call this Facebook. Campaign type will be the Facebook ad. Campaign type and we click create. You first need to connect your Facebook account. We then set our audience. We click audience. And the options we get depend on how many subscribers we have. Now this is a demo account. So I only have a very few subscribers. But if we have 100 contacts or more, we can specifically target our ad at our contacts. We can target at people who are similar to those contacts on our list and also with people with interests we define. So let's do that. So let's say they're located in the USA, for example. We want to sell in the USA. We want to target our ads at people in the USA. We then just go through the options. So their interest might be small business, for example. And we'll wait for the pop-up to appear, drop down to appear. There we go. Small business and it's just ad marketing, just for argument's sake. Okay, that's fine. And we'll click save. So we've saved our audience. We then get onto our budget. So what is our budget? We click set budget. And we just fill in the options. When to start, when the campaign should end, and we set our budget. And we move on to our content. We click Add Content, and we just fill in the field. So, uh, want to learn Mailchimp, for example. Whoopsie daisy, my spelling wasn't very good there, or my case rather. We browse images. We select an image. There are two types of campaigns or ads we can actually show in Facebook. One is called a single image ad. And in that case, it shows one image, such as I have at the moment. And that image size is 1,200 pixels by 628 pixels. I could also have a carousel, in which case my image sizes, multiple images, will need to be 1080 um, pixels by 1080 pixels. Okay, but there's my image for that I want to appear, for example. My link, organic web.com.au um, my title um, become a MailChimp sending pro I don't know something like that oopsie daisy okay I ran out of letters but you get the idea my description learn how to send email marketing in just hours okay Better get my spelling right, marketing, there we go, and I save and close. And 
sorry, there we go. Okay, and now I'll see what my ad looks like. And I can see what it looks like uh, roughly on a desktop device as well as a mobile device. Okay, so there's mobile, and that's roughly what my ad is going to look like. And it's that simple. Now all I do is I, I enter my credit card details, and um, that's it. Within an hour or so, my Facebook ad will be up and ready to go. Thanks for joining me. This is Gary from organicweb.com.au.